Hello and welcome to the next session of algebraic expressions. In today's session, we will be discussing real life applications of algebraic expression. That is, what are the applications, why we are required to study this algebraic expression, and how to derive an algebraic expression for the real time, real life ap applications. So, before studying any subject, we already always have the confusion why we are required to study this. Uh, subject. So, I will give you an example why we are required to learn about algebraic expression. Let us take an example that we have three friends here who, whose name is like Sarita, Amina and Apu. So, they have some marbles. Amina has, Sarita has some marbles. Amina has 10 more marbles than Sarita and let us say Apu has three more marbles then what Sarita and Amina has. So, let us try and frame the question for it first. Here, we are saying that Sarita has some marbles. So, let us take an example of Sarita. Sarita has some marbles. Let us denote that sum with our variable x. Now, let us take that Amina has 10 more marbles than Sarita. So, we will take about Amina. 10 more marbles than Sarita. So, Sarita had x marbles and 10 more marbles. So, this 10 more will become x. We add 10 to it. Now, the next is Apu says that he has 3 more marbles than the number of marbles Sarita and Amina together have. So, let us talk about Apu. Here, Apu has whatever Sarita has plus whatever Amina has plus he has 3 more marbles. So, 3. So, let us put what Sarita has here, what Amina has and additionally he has 3 more marbles. So, this gives us the like terms can be added together to form 2x. They can be added in a numerical way as what we say that this is like something as 1x, 1 multiplied by x, 1 multiplied by x. So, this like terms can be added together. This like terms are constant, so they can be added together as a simple addition. And that gives us that Apu has a marbles. 2x plus 13. So, this way we derived at an algebraic expression of how many marbles Apu had. So, this is one of the real time example or real life ex uh, application of uh, algebraic expression. Let me take you to the next example or next application for the same. Let us say here that Ramu's father's present age is 3 times Ramu's age. So, let us take an example of what is Ramu's age. As Ramu's age is not defined or not given, we will put a variable y over here. That is Ramu's age. Now, what does it say? It is Ramu's father's present age is 3 times Ramu's age. So, let us put Ramu's father's age. It's 3 times Ramu's age. So, 3 dot y is Ramu's father's age and Ramu's grandfather's age is 13 years more than the sum of Ramu's age and Ramu's father's age. So, let us first put what is Ramu's grandfather. So, Ramu's grandfather's age. This is 13 years more. So, let us first put here 13 years more than the Ramu's age. What is Ramu's age? Y and Ramu's father age together. So, he will put here 3Y. So, let us now come to the simplification of it. The like terms are here Y. What is the like term? Like term is which have the same algebraic factor. So, this Y and this Y both have the same algebraic factor. So, 13 will come here as it is. As they are same algebraic factor, they can be added as 3 
with the constant 1. So here this will give us 13 plus 3y. So this is how we try to find out Ramu's grandfather's age. So this is one more example of an algebraic expression which gives Ramu's grandfather's age. And now let me take you to one more application for the same. Now this, in this uh, question or a case study is in a garden there are roses, marigolds are planted in square plots. Remember square plot. Now the length of the square plot in which marigolds are planted is three times greater than the length of the square plot in which roses are planted. So let's take about first a simple case about roses. Let's say we denote that the length of the plot where roses are planted is L. Remember that this is a square plot. Now, the length of the plots where marigold is planted is 3 meters greater than the length of the square plot in which roses are planted. So here for marigold, the length of the plot is 3 times larger than the or uh, longer than the length of the rose plot. Now here we are talking about only length, not the area. So what is the question? How much bigger in area is the marigold plot than the rose plot? Now by definition area is length into length. We already are aware of it. So let's say if I want to find area of rose plot then it would be length into length that is L square. Now if I want to find the area of a marigold plot then it would be length into length but here the length is what L plus 3 ok to avoid confusion I would like to say this is the length Or this L denotes the length area. So it, what is the length of rose plant? It's L. So here we put L square. What is the length for marigold plant? It's L plus 3. So here we put L plus 3 the whole square. So now what is the question? Question is still not answered. How much bigger in area is the marigold plot than the rose plot? So now, to find out the same, we have to take the difference. Difference of marigold plot minus that of a rose plot. So that difference is whole square minus L square. Okay. To evaluate it, this will be L square plus 2 into length into 3 plus 9 minus L square. So this would give me 6L plus 9. So I think this example gives you a clear idea about how we take one entity, a variable which is length and then try to find out an associated entity area in terms of an algebraic expression. So this three examples actually give an explanation of how and where uh, algebraic expressions are used and what are their, how to uh, form an algebraic expression for those applications. Thank you.